The Top 10 Best Celebrity Golfers Golf is a unique and interesting sport. Even though people think that everyone can play it, but the truth is, as in all things, only a few can master the sport. Well, several celebrities from movie stars, musicians, and athletes have tried their luck to ace this game. Now, we all know golf is really fascinating to watch and it becomes even more interesting when played. Some celebrity golfers have taken their game to a pretty high level, and these are the ones who won't be quitting this sport anytime soon. These golf mad celeb athletes are a treat to watch, so without any further ado, let's run down the list of the top 10 best celebrity golfers. Number one is John Smoltz. John Smoltz, also known as Smallsy, is the only pitcher in the history of baseball to have 200 wins and 150 saves. But he also has a mean golf matchup. The former Braves pitcher has a two handicap and has attempted to earn a spot in the U.S. Senior Open. He shot a six over par for the competition, but that wasn't enough to get an invite to Pebble Beach. Yet Tiger Woods called Smoltz the best non-PGA golf player he has ever seen. Smoltz started playing golf when he was 19 years old and had just started out playing Class A minor league baseball. Admittedly, he didn't like it at first, but after a couple of years, the sweet feel of striking a golf ball pure made him fall in love with the game, and he hasn't stopped playing since. John Smoltz is one of the best VIP golf players and has an amazing handicap of 2.7. Number two is Kenny G. Kenny G is an extraordinary sax player, but guess what? He's also an extraordinary golf player. In any case, he most certainly made lovely music on the course. And as per AskMen.com, he has a handicap of .06. He was good at his game, but he aimed to be better. The way he described it, with the sax, I learned strategy, so it seems like a piece of my body, and I simply articulate my thoughts, he said. That's where I need to get to to improve my golf. Further, he also played for a secondary school's golf team and kept a handicap of zero while adjusting his overall visits. He has also been able to play his A game when it counts, bringing home the 2001 AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am title with none other than Phil Mickelson. Fact check, Kenny G holds a Guinness World Record for holding the longest note on the saxophone. Furthermore, he may likewise hold a record as the best performer and golf player. In 2006, he was named Golf Digest Superstar Artist Golf Player of the Year. Number three, Jack Wagner. You might know Jack Wagner from his job as Frisco Jones on the daytime drama General Hospital. Or on the other hand, maybe you used to groove to the hit All I Need back in 1985. Yet this celeb was always very serious about his golf. He was an individual from the lofty Bel Air Country Club in Los Angeles, where he was frequently seen practicing golf at the driving range. Jack started golfing at the age of 10 and won the Missouri Junior Championship as a team. He's known to have a .3 handicap. Unfortunately, earlier this year, Jack experienced a family tragedy and lost his son to addiction. His son, Harrison Wagner, died at the age of only 27. Jack has been silent on social media since the tragedy, but recently made an appearance at a celebrity golf tournament. Fans applauded him as he danced in one of his first public videos since the death of his son. Golf is truly a joy to play, even when you're in a state of sorrow. At number four, we have Vince Gill. Gill is known as a scratch golf player, and the country vocalist has played serious golf since he was 10 years of age. He's won many Grammy Awards and other music grants for his exceptional talent as a country music artist. In any case, he once had a goal to play professional golf. He said that he was obsessed with it and shoots around par more often than not. If I've got spare time, I usually wind up on the golf course somewhere, he says. One of his favorite spots to hit the links is the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, a collection of championship caliber courses spread across the state of Alabama. He also plays just about every course in and around Nashville. I played yesterday, I'll play tomorrow, he said. Much like the highs and lows of a good country song, the notoriously fickle game has the potential to be a heartbreaker. 
Every day is hard. Every hole is hard, he says. It's such a mysterious game. Some days you can't miss, some days you can't find it, but it's always fun trying. Number five, Charles Barkley. Sir Charles Barkley was a legendary basketball player before turning into America's funniest basketball analyst on TNT's Inside the NBA. In an appearance on Stephen Colbert, the NBA Hall of Famer was introduced as the worst golf swing he had ever witnessed. And Chuck will chuckle when he sees the footage of him quaking his legs before breaking a club on a tee shot. And yes, you can take swings at his strokes all you want, but the round mouth of rebound won't be afraid to make his rounds over the green mounds. He's taken part in ACC competitions. Nevada has hosted the Celebrity Golf Championship 17 times in a row. At the 2021 event, he was so confident in his improved abilities that he staked $100,000 on himself to finish in the top 70, but unfortunately finished 76 in the 89-man field. Number 6. Michael Jordan Jordan is known as the GOAT for his NBA achievements, but on the other hand, he's not too bad on a fairway either. His airness has a 1.2 handicap and when asked to contrast what it takes to be an extraordinary golf player as opposed to being an incredible ball player, Jordan said each has a comparable degree of difficulty. Jordan, who began playing golf in college, has memberships with roughly 12 private golf clubs and possesses more than 40 golf sets. MJ likewise claims a 3,500 square foot putting green which he had custom built in his backyard. In 2019, Michael opened his own golf course called the Grove 23. The course is placed in Florida and has only 80 members so far. Most of them are high celebrity golfers. You can play a full round of golf as well as nine, six, and three hole rounds thanks to the way it's laid out, according to Golf Digest, which says it twists its 18 holes into a double helix. This layout enables shorter, more diverse holes, giving players quick access to a playoff hole in case there is some additional cash on the line. While the course goes by the formal name of Grove 23, PGA pro Ricky Fowler has said that it has already earned a more fitting nickname, Slaughterhouse 23. Number 7. Samuel L. Jackson The Hollywood star has the temper on the golf course and said that if he wasn't hitting the fairway, he would be doing horrendous things. The actor known for his roles in Patriot Games, Jurassic Park, Pulp Fiction, and many, many more, was the most noteworthy golf entertainer ever. In any case, he has a provision in his contract that allows him to play golf while filming whenever he wants. He's hit the fairway with Tiger Woods and says Tiger has an attitude. He even said golf legend Arnold Palmer has the most terrible attitude he's ever seen on a green. Jackson's current net worth is $250 million and he has what seems like an endless stream of movie deals. So how does this extremely busy person manage to fit golf into his schedule so frequently? Well, it's because golf is both a sincere love for him and a way to release stress. Jackson is having so much fun while playing golf in addition to acting, traveling, and spending time with his family and friends. Because of his success, he can play on some of the top golf courses in the world and schedule rounds almost every day, whether he's working or not. His official handicap was an impressive 6.9 in 2019, and he once shot a 78 while playing with Tiger Woods at St. Andrews, which means he's probably about as good, if not better, than many amateur golfers including former President Donald Trump himself. Number 8. Dennis Quaid During his four decades on the big screen, Dennis Quaid has starred in some of the most beloved sports films ever made. Breaking Away, Cycling, The Rookie, Baseball, Any Given Sunday, American Football. But his true passion has always been golf. Quaid supposedly was once a scratch golfer. However, he's seen his handicap drop to six over the long term, especially after the birth of his twins. He was named Golf Digest's top Hollywood golf player in 2005. He had a yearly cause for golf celebration. He guaranteed he wouldn't want anything more than to shoot a golf film. 
He also swore by the fact that he would return to a one handicap in the future sooner rather than later. Quaid would love to do a golf movie one day. He actually turned down the role of Don Johnson in Tin Cup, and he really, really regrets that because it's one of his favorite golf movies. Number 9. Adam Levine Adam Levine, frontman and guitarist for the pop musical gang Maroon 5 and mentor on NBC's crush The Voice, is one of the most famous people who will show up on The Haney Project in the not-so-distant future. Most of the members in the band are actually playing golf and they often play a golf course while on the road. Adam once described his obsession with the game to Harry Arnett on Callaway Live. When I do have time to play or to grind, which is my favorite activity, I basically will hit more golf balls than any person on the planet Earth. I'll hit thousands of balls a day and wouldn't even think twice about it. In 2017, Levine reportedly bought an $18 million house on a country club that he probably won't even be able to join. According to some real estate sources who aren't allowed to comment, the house is located on the Los Angeles Country Club in Holmby Hills. The 9,200 square foot estate was built in 1966 in a French Regency style by architect Casper Emke. The North Course was 23rd on Golf Digest latest rankings of America's 100 greatest golf courses and will host the Walker Cup next month and the US Open in 2023. Levine is verifying that tattoos don't keep you from hitting a golf ball genuinely well. Only one question, does he swing like Jagger? The last celebrity on our list is number 10, Justin Timberlake. He is bringing sexy back to golf, it's true. Timberlake once allegedly said he will be a pro when he's 30, but he's already 30 and well, he's not a pro. In any case, that's okay. He's an excellent golfer with a handicap of six. Timberlake expressed that golf for him is generally about playing with his father, who got him into the game at Big Creek close to Memphis, at the point where the course was at a risk of being transformed into a resort development a year prior. Timberlake and his folks stepped in and bought it. The artist relates golf to music. Obviously, I related to music. The golf swing is incredible and musical. There's a rhythm to it for sure, very much like in music. It just sounded good to me. Music is everything to me. These top celeb golfers have marked themselves in the history of best golfers, though there are many more. However, we're short on time, so which celeb golfer was your fave? Jot down in the comment section and share this video with all the golf enthusiasts. And continue watching because we have something exciting coming up for you. So stay tuned for more.